American lawmakers are looking at legalization to uh, or legislation to legalize liquid marijuana, which has been shown to reduce seizures in people with epilepsy. The liquid form of the drug can be given to child patients who cannot smoke joints. Now Canadian parents want the same treatment option. CTV's Avis Favreau has more. The medicine that's keeping two-year-old Kate Pogson healthy doesn't come from a pharmacy, but from a marijuana plant crushed and turned into oil. And she takes this three times a day. Her father says if the only thing controlling her epilepsy was seizures that used to strike every two days. What we're seeing is, is about one a week. Uh, she actually hasn't had one for two weeks right now. Parents around the world with children suffering from severe epilepsy are turning to cannabis oil, fueled by anecdotal reports that it works. Six-year-old Leah McKnight used to have hundreds of violent seizures a week. Since starting on the cannabis oil in June, his mother says everything's changed. That whole period at the end of June, he didn't have any seizures at all. Here's the dilemma. Children can be prescribed medicinal marijuana, but they can only get the dried form. The oil can't be legally sold in Canada, so technically, these children can only inhale it. I'm not going to give our six-year-old a joint to smoke. She, at not quite two years old, has to smoke her medication. <laughs> I think that's crazy. So parents across Canada are turning the leaves into the oil themselves, or paying someone to do it, then sending it to a lab to confirm it's the right dose. And that's why these parents are asking Ottawa to let them buy pre-made cannabis oil already available in the U.S. and Europe. In a statement, Health Canada says patients can, for now, only get cannabis oil through clinical trials. But parents say there are no studies underway. It's very frustrating for us. So they're left to beg politicians to approve the oil that they say is their child's best medicine. Avis Favreau, CTV News. Toronto. Across the country.